In the last tutorial, we talked about how to plot a sample of observations into a table called a frequency table. This is one way to easily categorize your data, but there's another way to represent it as a picture called a histogram. So to do this, we have all of the information that we need. In this case, we have two axes, and on the y-axis, we are going to have the frequency. And in this case, we're going to have it go from 0 to about 5. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. On the x-axis, we're going to have each value in the range of our observations. So from 3 to 7. But I'm going to go a little bit outside those bounds just to make the graph more centered. So I'm going to start again from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now all we do, based on this observation, is we plot the amount of frequencies associated with each of these values. In the case of 3, there was a frequency of 1, and over that value, we put a bar that goes up to that frequency. So, about there. You can see it corresponds to the frequency of 1. For 5, there were 3 observations. It has a frequency of 3. And so the bar we plot over 5 goes up to 3. And lastly, for 7, that had a frequency of 1, so the bar over 7 goes up to a frequency of 1. So there you have it, a very basic frequency histogram. And based on this, we can then move on to measures of central tendency to better categorize this data.